Hey guys, Clarice here. I am so excited to be continuing on with the Jurassic Park series. Today we're going to be watching The Lost World, the Jurassic Park sequel. I'm very excited. I don't know if this is one I've seen. I think maybe like years ago, but I couldn't tell you much of what's going on here. I, I have a feeling I remember maybe something about like dinosaur eggs, so maybe it's got something to do with that. Yeah, like, I really don't know. So I hope that you guys are interested and in coming along for the ride. In case you don't know me, hey, my name is Clarice. I act and I do things on this YouTube channel where I watch movies and TV shows. I analyze them and talk about what makes film and TV so great. So if any of that interests you or sounds like a cup of tea, you can consider subscribing. If you like further deep dives and more analysis and analytical discussions about TV and film, you can consider supporting my channel by signing up for my Patreon. The links are in the description below. I offer access to my full-length reactions, whereas here for YouTube, because of copyright, we cut everything down. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Isla Sorna, southwest of Isla Nublar. Okay. Seven miles southwest. All right. At the time of filming this, it's only been a couple of days since I watched the last Jurassic Park, so it's still fresh in my memory. But, I mean, certain details I'm, I'm likely to forget. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This is going downhill so fast, I can see it. Come on, this is Spielberg. This is the man that gave us Jaws. Come on. Oh no, not the children. Not children again. No, little girl, don't go unsupervised. I think it's funny, being a kid, like, you know, you want that freedom, but now looking as an adult, I'm like, I fully understand the concern of the parents. I'm like, you're being stupid. This is not smart at all, little child. No, it's a freaking raptor. I'm calling it, it's a freaking raptor. <gasps> oh no! I don't know what that is, but it's definitely a dinosaur. Oh! There you go. Get away from them! Run! Yo! That's great! I love that! I love that! Yes! It's a great edit. Not great transition. The editing is the way that they did it, but the transition itself, that's really effective. I love that they use the sound of the scream to match the sound of the screeching subway, which is all too accurate. And then we got Gold Blue! Look at him with his fucking Gold Blue swagger! Like, I can't! I can't with the freaking Gold Blue swagger. Look at how he sits! Like, he's so tall! Like, uh, I love that man. Why are you trying to sit like Gold Bloom? Right? You ain't Gold Bloom. I believed you. I like gum uh, uh, Oh. Okay, so I'm sure we're gonna get more context, but gathering from this interaction, so he told the story. Maybe, maybe they're trying to cover it up, and that's why he's saying like I believed you in the dinosaur uh, situation. I would not be surprised if say like corporate or something tried to cover up their gigantic mess um that was jurassic park and then now you know the world isn't believing him i mean this is this is very beginning early stages of internet so my guess is he may this is just my speculation on five minutes of hearing this i would think that this is going to be more on the line of conspiracy theorists that believe this as opposed to the main general public because they can't quite go and look into all of their own information because the internet is still new. It's still in its early stages. I'm wondering if you wrote- well, he said I saw your- he said I saw your what interview? I saw you on TV, that's what he said. So probably an interview. Ooh, okay. So Hammond's still- Hammond's still rich, obviously. Not actually obviously, but it's more that Hammond is still well off. Ah, uh, they're older. Oh my Hello, Dr. Malcolm. Kids, kids. Aww. It's so great. Who are you? Who are you not believing this? So uh huh. Fuck corporate interference trying to hide their up. Called it. It's a generous compensatory offer for your injuries. That was a payoff and an insult. And when you spin reality, when you cover up evidence, uh, it hurts. It ruins more than just my reputation. It hurts. Yes! Oh, you're selling wild stories. I didn't sell anything. I never took a cent and I told the truth. No, Doctor, I will jealously defend its interests. Your responsibility? What about Mr. Hammond? 
It is our board of directors. I'm so heated and it's too early. I have too many emotions that are just piling up against this m Ah, I hate when this, uh, I hate, I hate when this happens. Hate it. I like that the movie's going in this direction. It's cool. It's inciting a reaction. That's why you're all here. A few weeks. I also hate, like, I don't know why, but there's something about it's giving the same vibes as, um, it is giving the same vibes as Bennett from the Pirates of the Caribbean. There's something about this posh. It's not an RP British accent. If you guys know exactly which type of British accent this is. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's a manufactured one that is kind of for the purpose of these more American films. But there's something about this particular British accent that infuriates me. It's so elitist. It's so like, it just everything, it's an accent, it's an accent. But what I mean about it is it's just tied to characters that exemplify a lot of elitist, that just exemplify a very posh elitist attitude towards others. And because they have the resources to be able to silence people of the truth and hide the truth and misinform the public, like it's very, I can get away with this. It's in the same way that Bennett did so many atrocities to people um, on behalf of the East India Trading Company and was able to get away with this and its atrocities. But it's very like, mm -hmm, like I just, uh, I hate it. So if you guys know what accent that is, please let me know. I would not be surprised if it is a fabricated British accent, like the kind that's maybe like to say like, oh, we need an evil British villain, which a lot of stories <laughs> in Hollywood have done so. Like if it's this kind of like, mm, yes, like, I don't know. Accurate, of course, and the animals are released to mature on their own. Life will find a way. Mother Hammond, like, <laughs> like Hammond is a very interesting character. His character kind of embodies like the desire for human innovation but also exemplifies man's greed, like in just this very juxtaposed way where he can see and acknowledge like Ian talking about how this is essentially almost unethical, this idea of breeding dinosaurs in a time where they shouldn't be existing and thinking that you have control and the level of hubris that that takes to think that man can control nature in that way. And Hammond can acknowledge all of that while also being like, oh yeah, but we had this other place and like, we just let them go. It's like, do you not realize how fucking stupid that is? Like you're putting people's lives in danger. Like I get like Hammond is a whole complex other case. <laughs> Stay on the outer rim. Are you freaking kidding me? Worry, I'm not making the same mistakes again. No. Hammond? All new ones, yes, you're making. You're making all new you, ones. All new ones. Uh, uh, but, uh, look at Gold Bloom's face. Gold Bloom's freaking face. That's that. That's how I feel. It's literally just like. Oh, uh, we have a. I our loved everything he's doing. And I was hoping that perhaps you might be the fourth. Are you? kidding me yes did i put it together of course he's gonna ask him that's why he's there but are you f kidding me i need a complete photo record of those animals alive and in their natural habitat so you went from capitalist to naturalist in just four years that's yo yes call out the bull hypocrisy call it out gold bloom coming for all of y'all yes you didn't contact Sarah. Paleontological behavior study is a brand new field and Sarah Harding is on that frontier. No. Her theories on parenting and nurturing amongst carnivores has framed the debate. What, what are uh, you doing? Wh where's your phone? No. Bruh. Yeah, meeting her in three days. Are you f serious? Goldblum, Goldblum is shocked. Look at that face. To this island alone? Oh, that's his girlfriend? Oh! Oh, this is so much worse! What kind of convoluted capitalistic monsters are these? She knows what she's doing. And believe me- How? How does she know what she's doing? 
She's never interacted with prehistoric creatures in her life because they don't exist. They're extinct. You can understand behavior of nature, but what does that mean that you're going to be capable of understanding them in an unrestricted, unhinged, natural habitat? Yes, certain people, I would, I would assume zoologists or perhaps other people in these kinds of fields that study animals in nature, like yes, maybe they have some regard, but these, these are dinosaurs. Thank you, John Williams. Thank you for playing your music behind the rescue and guiding us into knowing who the hero is. And it's Ian. It turned out to be so uh, beautiful and brilliant and powerful and funny and generous. The queen, the goddess, my inspiration. Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> I could come with you. I could be a research assistant like I was in Austin. There's nothing like Austin. Uh, no. But anyway, you got your own stuff you why are you gonna own. bring how would you bring your daughter she has to be like a stowaway or something don't tell me please don't tell me he's about to bring his daughter to this uh, i uh, know how much that meant to you and... you like to have kids but you just don't want to be with them do you yo damn damn girl hey i'm not the one i mean granted Granted, this is pretty nice, like, continued development on the Ian Malcolm character, given how he started in the first Jurassic Park. You know, he was the player. He literally drops the fact that he has, three, like, three children from three different marriages. Or was it three? But he drops, you know, the three different marriages and the kids. And then he's still looking for, like, he's still trying to pursue Alexis. It's really nice development so far, just in 20 minutes on the Ian Malcolm character, because he started in the first movie, he started as a player. He started very, very swagger, very superficial, very surface. And now what we're getting is we're getting a deeper dive into his real life, how he treats his children, how his children see him, but also there is the aspect of his unseen trauma that is really taking an effect where it's changed him. It's changed how he sees the world. It changes his outlook, the way he treats people. It changed because that's trauma. It changes everything about your livelihood and what you thought you knew. And it seems very much that he's trying to make amends, as he said in the last four years or so. So after after the incident, he is doing a lot of the hard work of changing his life, bettering his past because of this traumatic experience. I like that it's very much showing the real, very real reality of people who become collateral in the screw ups of big business. And I will likely be talking about a lot of this stuff, but I want you guys to understand I'm not taking any sort of political stance. I'm genuinely just sharing my own opinions. It's not to say all of these things is true and they are in main aspects, they're not, they're, they're generalized. They are not specified to any particular corporation. And if anything, the particular corporation is non-existent. This place doesn't exist. It's fictional. So if you guys would like to carry on with this conversation, please civilly uh, feel free to share in the comments and things like that. Just because there's a lot, there's a lot here. And I did not expect it at all. I did not think we would tackle all of these different things in this film so early on. So yeah. Who, uh, dumped but this little girl is coming at him for everything he's worth. She is reading him to filth and I'm kind of here for it, but also not because I'm like, oh, but he's been through so much. You're here and split for Paris, so don't take it out on me. Hey, there you go. There you go. I mean, she's a kid, you know, kids lash out. They're kids. Uh. It's a traumatized man. Like, yes, he apologized. He hopefully is like he's trying to make amends i'm not being like excusing of if say he was absent for a lot of her life so i understand if she's like lashing out for that reason but i'm also like this this dude literally got like clawed to filth by dinosaurs and no one believes him and he can't say much about it without being seen as a loon come on <laughs> hey you want some good parental advice don't listen to me don't no, don't tell me she's gonna stow away. Don't tell me she's gonna stow away. 
Not more kids. Steven Spielberg is so good at making things dangerous by bringing kids into it because it's like, ah, as much as kids are annoying as crap, they're still innocent. They're still innocent. When you implement the danger on kids, it just heightens the stakes so much more. Darn you, Steven Spielberg, for knowing how to do this so well! It is cool. And I'm already seeing it. She's gonna get stuck there or in one of the spots, not realize that they have to take them to the island, and then she's gonna end up on the island. Okay, I have to acknowledge <laughs> the irony. Like, I know that this is from a book. I understand that this is all from a book, so please share more about um, the book and how these adaptations bleed into it and things like that. But I can't help but mention the irony that the islands, the five islands, are called Las Cinco Muertes, which is literally the five deaths. They're all death islands. And Y La Muerte, where they went, is literally the island of death. Like, <laughs> the irony is so real. Like, the, it's already there, guys. Read context. Don't do that dead before you even realized you had an accident. <laughs> That's gotta come back together. <laughs> Not another kid! Damn you, Spielberg! Why are you so good at setting up these stakes? He's heard too many stories about this uh, island chain. Yes. And uh, he wants to drop us off and go anchor somewhere offshore. Yeah, that makes sense. He's got a kid. Sarah! 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 Sarah Harding! Now, is Sarah about to bust in here, being able to like nurture and control all of these predators, and all of these dinosaurs? Ooh. This is, this is magnificent. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. Mm -hmm. and later there's running and then... Yeah. But no one's listening to Goldblum. Put some respect on Malcolm's experience. There, there she is. Julianne Huff. Hey, Nick. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry on behalf of myself. The disrespect. Julianne Moore. It's too many names. It's too many names of people. So many actors in my yeah, head. Chicago got the jump. Ian, I never thought in a million years how I'm gonna get you to come here. He got you because he's saving your ass! My gosh! Stay there. This commentary is gonna be half judging everyone except for Malcolm. <laughs> Stealing the thing. Oh. You think you were gonna see animals? Yep. Maybe they were took. Pick iguanas. Yep. See, so they were not given information, just like them. <laughs> just like them. You are not yeah. safe. Oh. Ah. Just protecting their baby. I literally reacted so hard. I slammed my elbow into the table. The stories for four years, so of course I'm gonna come down here. What do you That stories of mutilation and death. Weren't you paying attention? Oh, please. Don't treat me like I'm a grad student. I've worked around predators since I was 20 years old. Lions, jackals, hyenas, you. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. See, I told you guys the writing, it's following the formula. They're telling us. They're unraveling exactly why she, what are her motivations for being here when he, she has a literal proxy that went into this place. And now we know. She sees it as stories, wants to know for herself. Tell me something. Kelly, something Kelly, you knew exactly what I was talking about. You have no idea. Lock her up for curiosity. Where do you think she gets See? it? See? 
Thank you, Sarah. Mm, so curiosity I'm talking about. Scientists especially about are incredibly curious people. I think I mentioned the same um, back in Jurassic Park. It's that curiosity that gets you. And it's part of that curiosity killed the cat. Scientists are incredibly curious people who seek answers and to ask questions. Biggest thing is science is asking questions because the answer may change or it may evolve. Um, and so it's it's a very, just speaking on behalf of storytelling, this is not, I'm just speaking on behalf of storytelling, it's the kind of thing that is fascinating to explore to explore and then show us through stories. Uh, anybody who wants to come no. with me, this is your last chance to get out. So listen, no. when you're out in the field, nothing we can do can leave anyone. Oh my God! Can deliver a letter to your wife the or your loved one, give a chance water, to say goodbye to her, dead. okay? So we leave no sense of any Oh my God! Bag. The disrespect! Our presence needs to be 100 This is the same crap that's like in, I don't know why this one came up, but it was one of the Anaconda movies. <laughs> Like the first one, <laughs> where I just watch it. They're like, "I'm like, you are gonna die." I don't know why you think you're not. <laughs> That's what I thought of here. Dad, are you mad? No, yes. Furious. Yes. What is this? As what? he should be. As he should be. What is this, Eddie? Eddie. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. If you, if you tell. If you tell me she's about to come over here and defend the little girl. I was gonna call you. Uh, Live. You, you know, Kelly, Kelly, this is um tall talk. J just uh, for a, just for a minute. Tall talk. <laughs> That's kind of funny. If you wanted to rescue me from something, <laughs> it's like a high restriction in a museum that park. fundraiser at the museum three weeks ago. Why not rescue me when I really need it? Actually be there when you say you will. You know, I have made a career out of waiting for you. You know, Sarah has a pretty good... It's so important to your future that you not finish that sentence. Please. It's private. It's <laughs> For real? Come on, come on. I know what I'm doing. Uh, you guys but you don't. Go. But you don't. But I'm gonna stay. But you don't. I love you. Like I you don't. don't. need you right now. But you do. <laughs> Is that she and does. Psychotic. I'll be back yes. in five or six days. No, you'll be back in five or six pieces. What bothers you is that yes. I'm afraid of this place, and you are. Of course I am. That's the yes! Thing. <laughs> you know, all I want is for you. Oh, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of helicopters. We haven't even started! No, it's probably engine. Because remember, Hammond isn't... Hammond isn't in control this as much as it seems like his nephew is. is. My business. Now, if you don't like either of those two conditions, you're on your own. So go ahead, set up base camp right here, or in a swamp, or in the middle of a wreck's nest, for all I care. But I've been on too many safaris with rich dentists to listen to any more suicidal ideas. Okay. Okay. Completely fair and valid. And I would ask why he wants to hunt a tyrannosaur, but he said that's Break none of my business. The herd and flush him to the right. Carnivore? Huh? No, no. Herbivore, late Cretaceous. Oh! <laughs> I like that he knows more stuff. <laughs> I wonder if this is accurate. I would really like to know how accurate any of the Jurassic Park actual, like, dinosaur information relayed is. Which is perfect for absorbing impact. Wow! Wow! These guys are predators. Like, even these herbivores. They're not like a dog that can be domesticated. I gotta say, I love the props in this movie. I love the props in this movie. Oh, that's cool. Kind of makes me think of Ghostbusters. Oh. That's a great, that's a great, like, display of, um... It's the Rex Nest. Because I, I don't know what you would call them. Are they, are they puppets? Are they dummies? Um, the, the dinosaur, the, like, dead corpses and stuff? Are they considered props? But either way, cr great. So well done. I just, I love the props of this movie. They, so good. Never left the nest. Hmm. Oh. 
offspring that young. Parents won't leave him alone for too long. So they're... Make your blind here. So where's the mama? Where's the parents? It looks like they're kind of here for like hunting. I'm sure they're gonna give a more in-depth description of why exactly they're here. This is why Hammond was in such a hurry to get you here. He knew they were coming. Ah. Oh God, they are well organized. Oh, so it's engine. Yeah. Software is already fully developed. One might say they've been up and running. <laughs> in a moment, I'll take you on a stroll through the camp. And you'll see some of the larger and more impressive specimens. Wow. It's like the way, the way I see the dinosaurs, me, like personally within the rights of the story, I see them in that same way of creatures that belong in their native habitat or also don't belong in this world with humans because we're going to exploit the crap out of them. So that's like the way that I kind of glaze this, these stories and where like the frustrations come from is, is like they don't, st st I hate this. <laughs> I'm like, no. Fascinating creatures, yes, but they don't know. San Diego is the perfect set. People already associate our beautiful city with animal attractions. San Diego Zoo, you Sea World, San Diego Chargers. You're gonna put them in a major city with millions in its population. The hubris! I can't with the f hubris. Hey, look out! Jump! Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, look at that. That was a beautiful, beautiful set piece. No, it's still coming. It's still coming. Are you out of your mind? He's got a broken leg. Let's get in the car before they hear us. Are you out of your mind? Do you have any idea what that is? Come on, open the door. No, no, no. I just... Just the level. The level of stupid. The stupid. Doesn't make them any less oh. stupid! Isn't it obvious? Not alone on this island. <laughs> yeah, they're not. <laughs> the superhero pose! Look here. How do you know that's there? How did she know that was there? What the hell is that? Here, hello. They're bringing it straight uh, to oh. Ian. Let's go. Go, go, go. Come on. Watch his tail. Get the door open. Get it away from all of you. No, no, honey, no. No! No! Close its freaking mouth. Use the other guy. Use, use the other guy. He speaks Spanish. Shut up his mouth. There you go. Shut his mouth. Come in. Ow. God damn it, you bastard. Listen, <gasps> listen. Ow. Other animals are gonna hear this. Ow. Can you hear me? Dad, I gotta get out of here, please. I wanna get out of here. Sure. I wanna go super safe. No. Yes! 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 Finally! Finally! Please go. What? What? What, what is it? What, get on what? the high ground. Information, please. What? Get what on the high going? ground. Come on. Thank God she picked it up. Yes! Yes! She's got a dad. He's comforting her. I'm gonna call her out on her stupidity. I think, remember what Sarah said before? These plants make it so the animals won't even know you're here. You're just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, now you're thinking about the stories. Mm hmm. Different. Eddie, is there any way we can communicate with the trailers? Please tell me that one works. Moving again. Don't Where squeeze going? it all. I got the idea. I got the idea. You gotta Dad, give it to him. Here. Ian is brave. You can't Please, not. Dad, stay here. Honey, honey, I'm coming right back. I give you my word. But you never keep your word. <gasps> oh man. That that hits. 
That's wow. Quick injection of antibiotics. Pick up the right phone. Help me get this thing out of here. No, no, we just, we just have Mommy's very angry. Yeah. Yeah. Do <laughs> not move. Don't move. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Close the close the door. You know, I beg people to listen to me. I use plain, simple English. I don't have any yes. accent that I'm wearing. Yes! Oh, shut up. Literally. So that's... Oh, no. Hang on. This is gonna be bad. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, my God! She's gonna knock him over the cliff. She's gonna push him over the cliff. They're pushing us over the cliff. Yep. Yeah, retaliation. They're going to retaliate. Come on. Hang on to something! Hang on to something! Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh my god! Okay, no, no, they can't survive that. They then then no. Oh 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 no! Oh god! No. Don't move! I'm coming down for you. No. Here I come. Stay still. It's the water. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Satellite phone. Get it. How the hell? Oh. How? How? How is she? No. No. Everything about me is so tense right now. Your hand, honey. Uh, hands up! Ah! Oh! Your lucky pack. Oh, the lucky pack. Okay, okay, okay. Can they get out of this? Right. How the heck are they gonna get out of the trailer that's been toppled over? Eon! That's that's what we're. Who's hurt? What do you need? We need rope. Rope? What? Oh, anything else? Yeah. Three double cheeseburgers with everything. No onions on mine. I don't know. Oh my, over. oh my goodness. At least they can have a sense of humor in this dire situation. I'm almost willing to bet he's gonna get eaten in the process of getting the things that people want, that the people need. And if not, thank God. I just want them all, I do want them all to be safe. Come on. I'm nervous though. I like, I appreciate- Oh, before all of this happens, I do, I appreciate that long take, and I really appreciate that entire tense scene. I'll talk about it more, um, in the end, um, because that was definitely that scene was amazing. Just how tense that was from the moment that Sarah hits the glass. That was, that's incredibly done. Park it, do something. Okay. Up goes Sarah. Bet you Malcolm's gonna be the last one and he's just gonna be hanging on the rope for like dear life. Ah, oh, sh oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You should have double knotted it, Ian! No, that's not Ian. You should have double knotted it. Oh my god. There has to have been a better way, like a more efficient way to do this. Oh my god, oh my god. No! No! Just freaking lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it in place, lock it in place! But that's a really heavy trailer that could just pull your car and then he's gonna. There's something. Told you, cause it's a very heavy trailer. So that's two deckers trail. Oh my god! That's a like double. I don't think it's a double decker, but whatever you call it, a double trailer. It's a bus. It's too much weight. Oh my gosh! 
Oh, that's that's scary. That I don't like that. I don't like that motion. I want to know how they did that with that car. Like, can like a stunt driver do that, or is that like a wire pulling it? Like, how is how is that movement being done? Because that's very believable. <laughs> oh, sh it's two. Fudge. I know it was two before, but I'm just like, no. It's freaking two now. Oh my god. Don't move. Oh god. No. Hide, 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 hide. Hide, 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 hide. Hide, hide, hide. Oh god. No. No, no, no! Well, I said he was gonna get eaten. But I thought it would be like before he could help them, but it happened while he was helping them, so half right. Alright, well, they arrived. Hmm. Oh, they got to his daughter, it looks like. Our communication equipment is stuck together thanks to you people. And we came here to watch no. the no, not because of them. All of you f are in this situation together. It is not one over the others. You all suck. I think the animal that's brought back to life has no rights. It exists because we made it. We patented it. We own it. Shut up! Come off of that shit. Come off of that shit. You think they listen to you? They don't give a we'll f We'll mind those. All right, how far is the village? Mm, I don't trust it. They're, go they're very every man for himself. One of them is gonna find the solution to escape and I hope they get That's eaten. That's not the problem. Just bed. I assume you're talking about Eddie. You might show a little respect. The man saved our lives by giving his. Then his troubles are over. My point is the predators don't hunt. Bro! Oh, only humans do. oh, you're breaking our hearts. Saddle up. Let's get this movable You idiots. Underway. None of you guys are respecting the predators. Shut the up and listen! You're all dumb! This is my immediate defense, guys. <laughs> like, I've done my level of my my share of, of caring about the world today. I'm a, I'm a on these people. Taking dinosaurs off this island is the worst idea in the long, sad history of bad ideas. For real. And, uh, it's a dumb ass idea. It's a dumb ass idea. But we're gonna keep getting movies! of dumb people still making that same stupid idea. And by that I mean making dinosaurs live with people. Whatever reason it might be. Oh, Are you about to get eaten while taking a whiz? Please. Like, lover of violence. <laughs> the like internal lover of violence in movies comes out where I'm like, yes, get eaten while taking a piss. Yep. Oh, it's the baby. That means bigger ones are close. Not polite. Nope. It's gonna be a bigger one. They've been setting that up so much in this movie. Like, they gotta pay it off. Where are you? Yep, he was listening. Nope. Got this. Oop! There we go. Lost the gut. Gonna, gonna find a big one. Are we going into the nest? Oop. Are we finding a nest? <gasps> Oh, there they are. Okay, so there's just more. Ooh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay, he's taken up by just like a lot of them. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Hey, Roland! Wait, are you serious? Ah, okay. Maybe I'm. Uh, maybe I got this all wrong, and they're like a. There aren't bigger ones. It's just those little tiny ones. I guess I must have had it all wrong. Cause I'm still just like, okay, if we can best them, then what's gonna get him? Cause something's going to. The music is just leading it that way. Oh, more? Oh, no. Okay, that's worse. Nice. Nice. 
So it was just a giant swarm of them. Okay. So I had it wrong. Or just, I guess, the little ones are just going to be the really annoying ones. If you got a lot of them, you're going to die. Come on. Up, up, up. All right, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey. Yeah. Nobody respects you, man. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no is right. Yep, he knows what's happening. People about to get eaten. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Whoever came up with that idea is fantastic. I love that silhouette. Whoever came up with that idea is great. I know that it's been done now so much, but oh, that's so great. That is freaking terrifying. <laughs> Don't you freaking scream. At least she also knows. At least she also knows to not move and to not say anything. No. Okay, they got out though. Oh, poor freaking Ian. So much trauma. Oh my god. Let's see if they work. The sneaking suspicion they won't. I really think it might not work. Stay still. Mm-hmm. Did you miss? Oh god! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my goodness! Ew, 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 ew. Oh, it's a snake. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah. What was it? Either snake or T Rex? Oh, I gotta say, the way they're doing the, like, go- It's great! It's so uns- Oh, it's so unsettling! I kind of love it! It's so unsettling! I love the visuals of the blood. I don't know um, entirely why. My guess would be is if they're keeping a PG rating, they probably had to keep these things to open to the imagination, because if not, they would get an R rating. And Steven Spielberg tends to like to stick to PG-13. So if this is like a factor of that, that's pretty cool because it leads to really creative ways to show that. I really, I like how everything has been very, you don't see the worst part. You just see the indications of it. And it's terrifying. I love it. It's coming back! <laughs> No, he said, don't go into, they're gonna get, they're gonna get taken off. They're literally gonna just get knocked off. Oh my God. They are going to get picked apart. I'm so excited for this sequence. I'm so excited to see how they do this. We're starting to, we're starting to reach parts um, in the movie where I have seen them taken out of context in I have seen them taken out of context in say like analysis videos where when you're talking about like quality filmmaking, quality storytelling, some of these like um, Sarah on the glass, I have seen in like a Cineflix video or like a watch mojo type of thing. That's where now I'm kind of starting to get excited, having context for knowing what might be coming. Um, but I still couldn't tell you what is coming. I just, I think they're gonna get picked apart. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. That was such a good wide. I knew it. Oh my god. He's 
said, don't go into the long grass. Oh my god! Oh my god. You gotta run. Run faster than the raptors. Good luck. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, well, so I'll just I'll get in there and I'll send the radio call, right? No, See the last know. time someone went there counts, without any second. help, Samuel Jackson died. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna try. Okay, here it comes. No. I don't trust it. Ian's always getting terribly injured in these escapades. Huh? <laughs> this is gonna scare him. Nah. <laughs> Repeating, I'm calling for engine operations harvest leader, seeking engine harvest base. Go ahead, harvest leader. God. Oh, yeah, thank the God. The operation has suffered severe casualties. Okay. All right. Okay. We have base. We have contact with base. Nick. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy crap! Lucky backpack! Lucky backpack! Oh. oh my god, Ian! It's not fair! It's not fair! That's not fair! Fair! God damn it! Oh my god! Oh god! No! God dang it! Why are they so freaking smart? Why they gotta be so smart? Look, they're trying to dig because they're so freaking smart! They're smarter! Oh my god! I I I just freaking I'd give up. You 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 learned all of this. How are y'all? You're not gonna dig faster than them. Look at them. Uh. Okay. Go. Go. Where do I go when I'm out? I'm right behind. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's not, I woke up some, oh man. Dang it, Spielberg, why are you so good at this? Look out! Look out! Watch out! Oh, shh. Up here! Up here! Up here! No! No, and it's gonna destroy the controls. Kelly? Kelly, no! Kelly? Girl, what are you doing? Oh, she did do gymnastics. Gymnastics. Hey, you! Nice. Nice. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay, Kelly. Good going. The school cut you from the team? <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! Go! Yeah, for real. Seriously, the school cut her from the team? That was really well done. What couldn't she do? Oh my... It's not fair! It's just not fair! about a ragdoll. <laughs> Come on, let's go! Oh my gosh, helicopters? Come on, let's go! Are we actually going to escape? It can't be that easy. It cannot. No, no, there is too much time left. There is too much time left. Something else has to happen. about the others? There must be more survivors! There's another time coming! That's one souvenir they won't be taking with them. Hurry it up! I'd love to oh hear my god! <gasps> so he did shoot it down. Oh my oh, god! Roland! Roland, Roland! You probably saved InGen. We lost everything we came after on this trip. You've got your trophy! 
Puck only! But it's alive! And everyone on the planet is going to line up to appreciate it and everything you've done for us. There's a job for you at the park in San Diego if you want it. No, thank you. I believe I've spent enough time in the company of death. Hmm. No. Okay. Man, I'm very curious about more of Roland's oh past. He seems very interesting. We learned so little about him. Yep. They're gonna see him. They're still going after this. It's ridiculous. It's just not going to stop. It's just not going to stop. SS Venture, reduce your speed at once. SS Venture, this is engine Harbor SS Venture, Master. reduce your speed at once. You're approaching area. the docking area. What's everybody looking at? Y'all wanna listen to Ian now? No, because we got another third movie. They're not gonna listen to Ian. Oh my god. It's gotta something's gonna emerge from there. No. Check the cargo hold! No. There may be crew down there! Everybody off the boat! Get off the boat! The hubris, honestly, that is y'all's freaking reckoning coming. Your dumbass hubris thinking you can control a T Rex. Oh, y'all get what's coming to you. All of y'all getting what's coming to you. Yeah. Now you're John Hammond. Mmm. Nice. <laughs> the United States of America. <laughs> the infants it's all safe. at once is where Ian the my god the first thing it's gonna do with oh my gosh where Where's is the, the baby oh my god a loose t-rex in the suburbs he's gonna go to the chlorine film Pool. It's gonna go to the chlorine filled pool and probably spit out that water. Oh my gosh. Freaking, it's another kid. At least that's kids being smart and not screaming. There's a dinosaur in our backyard. <laughs> There's a dinosaur you in your backyard. What, what you I appreciate what? that he just nopedied out of his room. He was just like, nope. Boop, 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 boop. Parents. Oh. <laughs> Please stop it pushing me. It isn't. It isn't. Idiots, look it's outside your. <laughs> and he ate their dog. <laughs> 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 Funny enough, the kid didn't scream, but the adults did. They're not slowing down. <laughs> hey, slow down. <laughs> so it's in the Jurassic Park Amphitheater in San Diego. Present the baby in the center, and then and then she'll come there. Present the baby there, and she'll just come there, and then they can trap her and just put him back on the island. How will we find the adults? Uh, follow the screams. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty legit. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't really. It doesn't have any nutritional. <laughs> any, any nutritional uh, value. You chunk on the metal, it's not gonna feed you. Oh god. 
man, it's so I want to know how they filmed all of that in in San Diego. Like what kind of like animatronics hydraulics like how do you do that like how how do you do that because i'm thinking like it's a cg creature so how'd they do that and uh, so much of it looks so practical <laughs> oh oh no <gasps> no Oh, the sound, the sound has been got me. There. Oh my god. Man, those stuntmen drivers, like, really... I feel like that may have been a fun day if it's not, if that's not crazy Drugs. difficult. Never gonna know we have it if it's... Come on, wake up. There we go. He knows. Start driving backwards! <laughs> Department of Animal Control. <laughs> what the heck is Animal Control gonna do? God, there could be. Uh... Ready? Where's the wreck? Is it still behind us? <laughs> yes, it is. Shoot it. Tell them no. to shoot it. No. No, you idiot. The adults. Shoot the adults. I want the baby back alive. Dr. Malcolm! What have you done with it? I want that infant! Dude! Jump! <sighs> there you are. gonna shoot it. They ordered the helicopters to shoot it. <laughs> Talk about exposure therapy. Do you believe him now? Sarah? Maybe you should have listened to Ian. To take a moment here and run the tape of our interview earlier today with John Hammond. He's the former head of engine bioengineering, the man who has come forward to spearhead this movement not only to return these animals to their island but to keep the island itself intact. These creatures require our absence to survive, not our help. And if we could only step aside and trust in nature, mm. life will find a way. Hey. Oh, we got pterodactyls. Steven, this doesn't make me feel very safe. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that was The Lost World, the second installment in Jurassic Park. And honestly, guys, I had a great time. I enjoy what was explored in the story. I think it was done really well. I appreciate the idea of kind of elevating that sense of like corporate profiting corruption over animals and that kind of story being told, but through the way of dinosaurs. I thought that was really good. Um, and it definitely expanded on the first one where it was a bit more contained because, you know, it was a select group of people um, and Hammond was a part of that. And so there was a bit more of a, of a balance of everyone in line with this project kind of coming to terms with the reality of the terror that could come from it. But this time around, it's more like they are aware, but they don't care. They're still going to profit, um, meaning like Ludlow and Injun. And so I really liked that aspect of like, now the world has seen what happens and the fact that they still can't contain these creatures and that they are best left alone and preserved and cared for in their in the native habitat that is this island and make sure that it remains intact. So I really like that. I kind of have no idea where they would go with the third one. I don't know where they're going to go from this, honestly, because... <clears throat> 
because now like i i really don't know where they're gonna go so i'm kind of excited to see the third one i have heard mostly when it comes to jurassic parks i've heard good things about the first and second don't hear too much about the third so i'm looking forward to seeing it honestly i really enjoyed it i think def goldblum did a great job especially he had a lot even more to play with in this round because there was so much development from his character even in that first you know 20 minutes like i was talking about so much has happened because now as they said, it's been four years, so he's had to live with the situation of what happened in the original Jurassic Park now for four years, and he shared his story but wasn't believed, and Injun hid and gave the public misinformation, so he's just been having to wrestle with this trauma, and then now he has to relive new trauma now, going back to a different island with these same creatures for the sake of saving his girlfriend, like a woman that he loves, and then his daughter comes in, and like she's not supposed to be there, and now it's about protection and survival of his most loved ones and sincerely i think goldblum did a great job julianne moore did a really good job with the role with sarah i think it was really nice especially given more of the arc that they gave her she was very curious but very early on caught on that it's like okay no maybe <laughs> i shouldn't be here and then it became more about her using her expertise to in a sense almost give the respect that's due to these creatures her having so much knowledge about them um especially with the this um contradicting this mentality or this uh this uh studies of them thinking that they're like herd animals or whatever and her being like no they have protective instincts they want to protect their young kind of thing and i like the aspect where like now the dinosaurs aren't quite the bad guys it's more people coming into their territory and them protecting themselves so i really like i enjoyed that i enjoyed that i really um i had a really good time with the lost world i hope that you guys did too if you enjoyed you can consider subscribing i will be finishing up with the jurassic park series and then we'll be getting on to jurassic world which and honestly the more of the originals that i watch the more nervous i am about watching the jurassic world series so Let's see how that goes. If you guys enjoyed, consider subscribing. You'll get notified on all my latest videos and updates for the next coming series if you want to see more. So with that, take care of yourself, please. Find good, nice, good things to do <laughs> with your life that make you happy. And I hope that you enjoyed. Take care of yourself. Remember that you are deserving of happiness and love and joy and all of the wonderful things in life. I wish that for you. Take care. Eh, bye bye.